Hello again. You know, I'm sure you've gathered up to this point that money is not real. But since we live in a world, sorry, Mother Earth, since we live in a society of make believe, this system that we're forced into, let's talk about payment, folks. I think that's appropriate, don't you? The last time we spoke, we discussed a scenario where the great mother earth herself and other beings, my friends, the great sun and the great moon goddess and the great nature goddess and all of the other great ones, right? Great Af, right? All of them. They're in attendance. You know? And the scenario here is that we were talking about that payment thing. Excuse me, y'all. You know that thing I told you guys about. Get up here. This is nice up here. I can stand right here. Hope you guys can see me. Hey, great one. So today we're going to talk about payment. Now I hope that last video, I hope you had time to really process what I was saying because it's all reality. The simple reality by your standard is that you live in a world and every day you buy into the move and shake of your bullshit. And what do I mean when I say move and shake? I'm talking about how your society is running. It's all self-serving. Right. There's a few folks who do everything to benefit themselves. Right. And the clueless, the fools, you know, who can be told anything or bind to anything, they go along. They're sheep. Right. And every aspect of your life, there is some foolishness, you know, some underhanded foolishness that you're not comprehending. You know. You're trying to get ahead. Many of you, all of you are working jobs because you're the slaves. I'm trying to say we're all slaves on some level. We have to bind to this quote unquote thing, this system, right? Some of you formally or we'll formally call it or, or we'll call it, right? Officially the beast, this system, right? They're all, they know everything, right? No, they don't. The actual facts about God's signs, folks, the most high, all praises. The most high is your everything, right? This is all tying in because, see, the great ones, they're doing duties, folks. All of the higher beings throughout the universe that the most high created, the creator, the source of everything, the continuous source of your life force in all dimensions, in all realms. He is God, folks understand me the higher beings who can crush you right who have not stopped you and or intervening your your fucking pure foolishness in that low level consciousness that you display to other people the lack of humility my famous word folks is the one little linchpin that we pull out that sets that grenade off or set or makes everything fall apart Within humanity in this, this particular material lifetime. See, you'll move on. The point is, is where does your vibration resonate in that move on? That's where, that's where your knowledge, the lack of your knowledge, that's where you're damned. This is not a game, folks, for you. This is about your elevation. For, for whatever reason, we're not going to focus on today. We're not going to focus on why you were lost in the first place. We obviously know that there are forces at work to keep you from knowledge. Fine. Okay, whatever. The truth of the matter is, is that the Most High is the creator of all things. The great gods in the heavens all bow at his feet, folks. You're, you're just humans, folks. And, and you're, you're part of his, his package as well. God is manifested in everything, in all dimensions, in all realities. You got to grab that. We're going to grab that as the base principle in this discussion. Because we're talking about payment here. Now, do you think you owe anything? I'm going to ask you, and I'm gonna be a, it's a reasonable question, folks. 
Do you owe anything? Do you owe the higher beings anything? Because see, they work 24 hours a day, day and night, right? The great sun from my position is here with me, right? Day, every day, right? And the blessing of God allows you and you guys won't understand this, but process this statement, right? You know, imagine when you go to bed, you're with the sun, and when you wake up, with you, with the, you're with the moon. Process that. Reality, fact. Okay? So you folks live in this world and take them for granted on every level when every aspect, right? God has a science, folks. And his science, which the great son, whom, whom is my mentor, and he, God's science, this is the breakdown of his energy. His energy is him, it's always him. But since he is so magnificent, there is no word to actually describe how magnificent God is. His Godness is so incredible, right? The great ones, the son is a great being, folks. He is a great being, he's, one, he's the great one, okay? But just imagine the most high. The most high is manifested in us all. So the most high created these great beings. So you have to realize, folks, he is unbeatable. God, the most high, and we'll, we'll say that. The most high is unbeatable on, on, there is no way. His will is why you exist anywhere, in any dimension, even for the gods themselves in the heavens, folks. He created the heavens. So you, you denying that understanding, not reasoning within yourselves, not understanding that bigger connection to him. He's always in you, but giving you the free will because his, his, his atoms are popping with life, the energy of life, which is you, how you manifest in a conscious reality or any being, the gods themselves, any beings in the universe, even the, the dumbass, ignorant lower beings who the, the sin of crime is them not recognizing the reality because they're narcissists, they're foes that the most high created it all. If he does not consciously see you in existence, you don't exist, folks. You're just dust at his feet, folks. It's a fact. You're his conscious projection. You cannot defeat him. That's, let's establish that point. But in the breakdown of this science, right? You know, because God is everything, right? He has manifested himself as your world who is a being, just like you're a being. And this God being, right, Mother Earth, is here at this press conference with me because we're going to pick this up from there. She's at this press conference and we're, and you know, we've come to a consensus here, right? Because you charge people every day. That's where I'm getting to with this. You charge people every day. You know, you're landlords and you own all of these properties and you're coveting the land, which is not yours. You don't have a deed. Last time I checked, I know Mother Earth. I personally know her. You don't have a deed, folks. None of you. I promise you, you don't. Okay? So if she's willing to revoke that land from you, remember just the firmness of you being able to step on the ground. It's her will. Right? The ability for you to stand in the sunlight. Hey, great one, again. The ability for you to stand in the sunlight and not be exposed to anything serious that will harm you is the will of the great sun. And all of these things play a part into your, your material under survival and, lit and life. That's what I'm saying. This experience is for a reason. Okay? You're always going to exist because you are always made out of the most high. He is, he is, he has manifested in you. He will give you that thing. But the question is, where will your energy resonate, folks? The things that you're doing in this world, folks, charging people on all levels, hoarding up resources that Mother Earth is providing. You haven't paid her for starters. There is, we have already established last video. Go back and check it out if you haven't seen that one. We've already established that you 
can't pay her anything tangible because she is it she's all of the tangibles okay and how valuable you actually are because you are a product of the most high just like her so your humility would allow you just like the societies whom whom they consciously uh manifest just like you you live in, in in on this world who's mother earth all of the beings are worlds, folks. These are greater things, folks. In the societies, there are be there are the human beings, or, or we don't want to say human beings because they're not human beings, but other beings living in societies on other in these other uh, realities. No one is talking about some money or foolishness. The money is the staple pen for you fools. This is what you put all your consciousness into and everything revolves around this thing. Not realizing that the moment that they want payment, your ass is grass. Do you not get it, folks? Right? They're not going to move until the most high says it's time to move. See, that's their, that's their greatness, folks. Understanding everything, the high reality. That's the greatness of the Most High, folks. He is everything. They know this. So they do duties every day and you folks live every single day. You have a place to walk around. You can breathe air. You're supposed to experience more than just become, be a slave and work all day, literally physically. Exert yourselves, hurt yourselves. For, some, for a coupon, which is pretty much what you're getting on some level, to buy things that are owned by the same people that are giving you the coupons. See, you guys don't get this. You are the slaves, folks. In real reality, nothing has, none of this shit has any value, period. God's connection to you has all the value, folks. Okay? Any of you who are trying to consciously defeat the Most High, it's you are fucking fools. The Most High is standing in your place to give you life. If he, if he turns away from you, you will drop. It is a fact. So the, so the humility that God shows is greater and all of the higher beings see this example. This is, the, this is the how it is, folks. This is why I know you haven't been stopped yet. But you, when you think about the great sun... Or, the, or great mother earth or the great moon god is doing these duties and seeing how you're disrespecting them and not honoring not even acknowledging when you give praise to the most high it's just like a tree the most high is everything if you water him you're they're the branches folks they'll be nourished they'll be beautiful the gods are beautiful they're very beautiful folks i know all of them personally they are beautiful in every way you can think of okay a lot of things you're influenced by that are creative and beautiful, you don't even understand where the energy is coming from, that energy of, of, of motivation. You're being assisted on many levels, folks. Point I'm trying to make is, we let's talk about the money. Because I know you guys have a figure in your head. How much you think? A billion dollars? You think that's, you think that's enough to pay the son with interest? Because you're charging interest to everybody. You're telling them if they don't have enough money because you're not paying them enough, that if they lose their job or something, you're going to take their home and they're going to be homeless. You're going to tell them you're going to cut the lights out. Even though the lights are being provided to you by higher beings that haven't charged your punk asses anything. You burns are walking on grounds talking about as your land where Mother Earth can snap her fingers. And this is a fact, folks. She can snap her fingers and the very land that you're walking on can become quicksand. It's her. Appreciating that is realizing that she's doing a duty to the most high and that's why you give praise to the most high for the gifts, for creating this universe, for all of the beings that are blessing you in a material lifetime for you to live and experience. You'll move on in energy, but where do you move on to? Where does your energy vibration move on you to? Because you cannot resonate in higher reality folks in these heavenly worlds who don't have greed or anything. The fact that they're heavenly worlds is merely just because of the fact of their vibration, folks. None of these foolish things exist. But because we live in a, a, this dimensional reality we're in, in the, in the duality with the, the positive and the negative, 
then most of us, because we're fools, gravitate towards the negative, and that's why the, the society is the way it is. When Mother Earth raises her vibration, if you if you folks can't meet that vibrational level, where does that leave you? This is what it's all about for you, folks. This is not why it's not a game, folks. You see, many of you read your things and you 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 get caught up in the wrong things and you're being led somewhere. When the time comes for that information to be valuable to you, it'll be useless to you. You'll see this. Right? You I'm let me let me let me explain to you about how I I view things. Okay? Knowledge is everything, folks. The Lord granted me this knowledge with his blessing. Because he did this, I am now friends with the universe, folks. The heavens. And I understand. I don't understand everything. And I'm not trying to. That's the point I was making to you guys. Right? It's not important uh, how hot the great sun can, can get. The point is, is that you are living every day through his duty that he's, he's serving to the most high. And that's what you guys should be doing. You shouldn't be charging each other. You shouldn't be demanding fake things, money, and covering yourselves in something that really doesn't exist. So you're just like that story where the king didn't have any clothes on and, and all of the fools told him he did and the little boy had to expose him and let him know that you don't really have on any clothes. The emperor doesn't have any clothes on. Right? Money is not real on any level. Nothing really has value. The only value is the value to the most high that gives you life. And that's why you should live your life in this reality and experience the great things by feeling great, by vibrating greatly, folks. Okay? By vibrating greatly. You know? That's what, that's what living is about. It's not about a rat race. When someone's putting you in a rat race, they're... They're suppressing your free will, even though they have free will. So the higher beings that are watching them use this energy to charge you and be a bully or watch them use this land and be a bully. And this is my territory and all that. When Mother Earth decides that that's not going to happen anymore, none of you punk motherfuckers can do anything. That's what you're not grabbing. You're ignorant. She has the control. She's holding your world. Right. Give your praise to the most high and that will honor her, folks. He is her. He created her. He created you. This is why you're supposed to give praise. This is why you're supposed to live in a society where you just work for your duty. Everybody has everything in these worlds, on these worlds, in these societies. Right? No one is jealous because everyone has everything. But see, when you're a low level, you want to be over everyone else. You don't ever feel secure. So you always got to have more toys than everyone else. See how this works? The narcissists are running our societies. It's the same fucking playbook as the janitor at your damn job at your office or something. Or wherever you work. Same playbook, folks. The people who are running society, so-called, will meet their day of reckoning. You'll see who's really running the show because you haven't come up with a figure yet. You guys put in the comment section below the figure that you think we owe. We should pay Mother Earth and the sun and the moon goddess. You know, y'all spending in all these cities and stuff. She lets the tides go. Y'all swimming around. Can you swim? Because if you don't pay, right, yeah, you may have some issues. Right? Give your praise to, to the most high, to the creator. Right? And that'll be watering their branches and they're doing their duty. And you do. You should follow that example. This is what the great son is teaching me, folks. The science of God, folks. But you're not going to listen. I know this is why the story has already been told. Fine. But those of you who want to be part of that pickup thing, you know what I'm talking about. You're waking up. We're all going to do this. OK. Just think about it. You folks going over to my website, thinkbehavior.info, pick up my book, I Love Bad Behavior, right? Like, share, subscribe to the channel. I love it. I love bad behavior. I do. But that's why we're going to see this situation happen and play out. Because we have bad behavior. We're selfish. We're fucking hoarders. We take things. We acquire things. We show lack of humility when we're being shown it every day. 
You have no right to charge someone for power that the great sun is giving you on every level or air that Mother Earth is giving you on every level or land or the moon god is holding back the tides and all of the things they do. You have no right. Killing animals. The nature god that sees this. Okay? You'll have your day of reckoning for this, folks. So you folks have a great day, right? And we'll talk again. Finish taking my walk out here. It's beautiful. Have a great day. Okay? Y'all take care.